welcome once again to the public school teacher and this video is another episode of app wednesday okay as you can see on my screen i am about to access the internet through google.com so we all know that google.com is the largest search engine in the internet and when you use this we can actually access a lot or a variety of information that we can use for our personal lives or even for our work now as a teacher and as a researcher myself this is my go-to site whenever i need some information related to my work or to the researches that i'm writing on however using the internet can be very overwhelming as you all know there are a lot of information that you can find there and it's sometimes it's very hard to identify or find relevant scholarly articles and references for our work or for the researches that we are working on so what i do is i use google scholar whenever i need scholarly articles or articles that are research based so you instead of going to the generic google.com search engine i go to scholar.google.com whenever i need these kinds of articles or references now um, aside from going to the website official website of google scholar i also use the chrome extension which is very very helpful and useful for multitasking so where do i get the chrome extension of course you need to go to the chrome web store and then search google scholar here and you will be able to download the extension of the google scholar button and then once you install this one it can be found the google scholar button can be found in the google chrome extension bar so you will know because um, this is the icon of the google scholar now what is the purpose of it this is what i like about the chrome extension so for example i am browsing through the web or the social media and then i saw an article that interests me and i would like to learn more about it so instead of opening a new tab here you can actually click the google scholar button here from the chrome extension bar and then type the topic that you want to learn more for example here or you can also copy and paste this one there you go and then you can see some other related articles or other references related to the topic that you have searched or that you're that you are reading and then when you click this one for example um this one it opens to another tab and it's very convenient and it's very good for multitasking so you can as you can see if you click again you can see here the um how many times the article was cited the authors um, a little bit of information about the article then related articles you can also check here and all the versions of the article or the reference and then the source and the type of document that you can download or see from the website 